Hello and welcome back to my channel. I just want to say thank you. If this is your first time. Just hit that subscribe button. Today we have a pretty good video. It's going to be brought to you by Way31 News. <laughs> it's a video of Donald Trump getting into a tr like garbage truck. Which this guy is a this guy is a master troll. Like like this is hilarious. But anyways, the video itself is called Raw Donald Trump speaks with reporters after arriving in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Now, let's get let's go ahead and watch this video. It seems like it's really good. I haven't seen it yet, but people told me to check it out. So let's go ahead and watch this together. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> and real quick there's so much con everybody calling everybody garbage uh, like right now a lot of the liberal media mainstream like you know like cnn um msnbc abc all of them right now are playing videos of donald trump or not even donald trump is they just showing videos of his of his uh what is it rally in uh, madison madison square garden and that one guy killed tony or whatever his his name is, you know, he came out and it says something about Puerto Ricans, you know, unfortunately it was like, oh, the island of trash and Puerto Rico. The news is making it seem like, oh, this guy hates Puerto Ricans. Well, you, you guys know where that joke could come from? If you guys look it up, check out Puerto Rico. There's landfills, about 29 of them. They're full of trash. The government doesn't want to get rid of it. They don't want to just confiscate it because of environmental reasons, right? I don't know, but... I'm glad that they said that joke because it kind of brought a lot of attention to it. But, you know, it's crazy what the news wants to cry about. And then and then freaking Biden came out and called the that all the supporters of Donald Trump are garbage. And then the news is trying to say, oh, well, he meant like the the racism is garbage and and all this taken out of context. no. Joe Biden said what Joe Biden said. You know what I mean? Don't try to change it. But anyways, you know what I mean? Let's check out this video. That's why I think it's hilarious that he's getting in a truck, you know, a garbage truck. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I will give him that. <laughs> oh, no wonder the no wonder the world leaders were scared of him. No one, he's he's you don't know what he's gonna do, man. And I think I think the I think we need a we need a president like that. You know, and look, I'm not saying you should vote for you you vote for whoever you want to vote, right? I'm not a political guy because I mean this is America. You vote for whoever you want. You you know you have your reasons why you vote for who you vote. I got, you know what I mean? I have no problem with that. But this is crazy. Let's go ahead and watch this. This guy's a master troller. It's hilarious. He wants women's health. He wants health for people. 
and we're going to work with him. He's a very, very talented guy. He's a friend of mine. I think the Democrats have done a very poor job. We're leading in every in every state. Uh, we're leading big, and I think that the comment made by really both of them, because we're really two of them, uh, about being garbage, maybe 250 million people, uh, they shouldn't be talking. That's like deplorable for Hillary. This is the deplorable for Hillary. And uh, I think this is worse, actually. For Joe Biden to make that statement, it's really a disgrace. You said the other day that the military would be used, that the military from the National Guard could be used on election day if necessary. Can you explain what you meant by that is the details? I don't think they'll have to be used. I think we're going to have a big victory. And I think 250 million people in this country are going to be very happy because we're going to bring the country back. We're a nation in decline, very, very serious decline. And we're going to bring our country back. Did you know that Elon Musk was in close contact with President Putin? Did you know about this? Did you know about Elon Musk at all? Like close to no, the Elon, Elon is a great guy. He's one of our geniuses, and we have to protect our geniuses. We have to take care of our Mr. geniuses. Mr. President, there's a report there are that you... Many of them. Yes, please. Yes, I love Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico loves me. I don't know. I don't know anything about a comedian. I just, I love Puerto Rico. Nobody's done more for Puerto Rico than me. I, I took care of them when they had the big hurricanes, and nobody, nobody gets along better with Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rican people, people than me. They love me, and I love them. Go ahead. This is great. What do I want? I don't know anything about the comedian. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. Uh, yeah, interesting about Trump is that this guy, you know what I mean? He could, he should be on a beach somewhere on a yacht. You know what I mean? He's a billionaire. Well, I don't know if he's still a billionaire, but I know he's a multimillionaire. He should be on a beach somewhere relaxing, but he's over here getting shot, giving up his wealth for the country. That That's crazy, man. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's what I got to think about because... You know, this is someone that doesn't even need to be running for the country, doesn't need to be getting his life, like, assassination attempts and everything. He should be on the beach, on a yacht somewhere, right? Chilling, relaxing, chilling with his grandkids if he has any, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, he's fighting for the country and that he doesn't even need to, right? A country that the news is against him, everyone's against him, but yeah, he's like, I want to fight for the country. I mean... That's crazy. I heard he made a statement, but it was just a statement that he made. He's a comedian. What can I tell you? I know nothing about him. I don't know why he's there. You put comedians up, and uh, I guess he went on earlier in the show. I don't know who he is. Is Steve Bannon going to campaign with you? Is Steve Bannon going to campaign with you now that he's on a president? I don't know, but I think he's a terrific guy. I think he was treated very unfairly. Mr. President, you've been talking about Democrats chasing. Um, could you imagine any circumstances <laughs> where you would be defeated <laughs> but not say that the election was stolen? If it was, uh, if it was a corrupt election, that could happen. But so far, we're doing pretty well. We, uh, they found a lot of smaller things in Pennsylvania, as you know, and I think they've been corrupted and, uh, and taken care of. They were, they were corrupt. They were corrupted, and, uh, but I think it's been taken care of. On that now subject, that you, you called for, call for law enforcement to investigate. Uh, I was going to say, uh, do you anticipate to declare a victory on election night? I hope that we're going to declare a victory. I mean, they spend all that money on machines. Paper ballots cost you 8% of what a machine costs, 8%. And uh, it's encrypted paper, it's watermarked paper, it's very secure. Uh, your elections would be over at 10 o'clock, and that's when the... You could announce something and there would be no question. And we're not talking about more money. We're talking about a tiny fraction of the money. Uh, you want paper, ideally. You want one-day voting. And I think it's just very important. You have to have the country and you have to have voter ID. And you and you have a great election. And you're talking about 8%. I mean, if, eight, if it costs 8% of what the, it costs, like if 100%, 100% is the cost of the of the machines, right, that we used to vote, and then it would only cost 8% to use paper ballots. Why don't we do that? That's 92% of the total cost that could go somewhere else. You know what I mean? To, like, housing or something. I don't know. I have a feeling that the U.S. can have, like, as people would say, universal health care or just, like, health care in general. 
But, like, our government officials, and I don't want to say all, because there's a lot of officials that do want the best for Americans, but there's just overwhelmingly a lot of people that just don't want the best for the U.S., and there's always there's always no money for us, but money for everyone else, huh? I don't know. Let's continue watching this video. It's almost over. Percent of the cost. Uh, it's, like, very sad when you get machines, you pay all that money, and they talk about three days later. I think we're going to have a big enough victory to... Uh, Maybe have it that night. You should always have it, Bill. You know, every night. If you look at France, 38 million votes. At 10 o'clock in the evening, it was over. All paper ballots, all voter ID, one day voting. And it was over. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. Fucking <laughs> 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 Bro, this is Trump's troll truck right here, bro, where he's trolling. <laughs> What do you guys think of freaking Trump's level of trolling that this guy does? This they, you know, they call him and his, they call his, they call his supporters garbage. Next thing you know, he's like, "Yo, I got a garbage truck, and I'm ready." Like, let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just hilarious, man. Like, this is hilarious. Like, I'm not sure as like to why like Kamala's like campaign isn't trying to do funny stuff like this. Like, her stuff seems like it's like more like cringe level, right? Like, not even like. Like genuine. This is just. I don't even like. I'm pretty sure. I know. I know he knows what he's doing. You know what I mean? Because this guy's been trolling him since he, since he first you know had Twitter and everything. This guy's just doing some troll stuff. But that's Trump's trolling truck. Oh, I don't know. But what do you guys think of my reaction? If you like it, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, please. Help me get to a thousand by the end of the year. It's a long goal. It's like 900 people I need to get or like nine, like eight, 880 or something like that. Um, or like 800. I don't know. But um, let's see what's in the next video. I like to react mostly to camp body camp videos, but I like to react to other videos as well. Because, you know, I like I like to I like to change it up. If there's any videos that you guys want to recommend me to watch, please let me know. And I'll watch it myself and I'll react to it. But I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Take care and hit that like button, subscribe, and have a wonderful day, man. And let me know what you thought of the uh, video and comment down below.